In uh, Salesforce Lightning, there are some ways that you can manage duplicate accounts that are kind of worth understanding. Uh, in this case, what you're seeing is I've got a bunch of kind of pseudo dupes. And so what I'm going to do is to do a, a look here on dupe, and I'm going to see that I've got some dupe accounts out there. And so if I go click in on dupe test and take a look at that one, what I'm going to see is I've got uh, no potential duplicates. Now that's because there's no duplicate rules are activated. Uh, but if you don't see this lightning component, uh, the first thing you have to do, though, is to go out here to edit your page. And from edit your page, what you can do is to go down here to potential duplicates and drag it across. And that'll give you this duplicates uh, screen. But looking at it, unfortunately, there's no duplicate rules active. So what I have to do is to go out to setup. And I'm going to go to Setup, and then I'm going to go look at Duplicate Rules. So I type DUPL, and I'm going to go to my Duplicate Rules, and it's going to say, all right, you don't currently have anything active. And so I'm going to go, let's go to the Standard Match. And what I did was just to build a Standard Match, because that should work just fine. And you have to build a matching rule before you get there. There's a great trailhead and everything else. I'll show you more about it later, but just want to show you how the process works. So I'm activating that. I, I now have an active process. And so what I'm able to do is to go back here to my dupe test. And I'm able to say, uh, OK, so let me try and create now. So I'm going to go out and create a new account. And I'm going to call it uh, a new account. And I'm going to call it organization. I'm going to enter it as dupe test. And I'm going to save it. And what it's going to say is, great, we saved it. There are no potential duplicates for this account. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense because we know we just copied and pasted it. Uh, what it turns out is, is that if we go actually back to this, this, uh, the duplicate rules, um, the standard account matching rule is, is actually one that requires uh, requires, and you can take a look at the standard account matching rule, you have to have both an account name and either a city or a zip code for the match to work. So if we want to say, all right, let's be a little more tight with our process. And so what we're going to do is to go out and look at a matching rule here uh, that I've defined as being a, 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 um, an account exact name matching rule. Um, and so if I look here at, at this, what I'm able to do is to say I've built also this uh, exact account matching rule. And, and again, I'll show you more about this as we go forward. But let's activate that as an exact match. And then if I go back here and I do a refresh, what it's going to do is it's going to tell me uh, that I actually now have a potential duplicate for this account. I can view my duplicates here. It's going to show you my two, and I'm going to say, okay, actually, it looks as if it's a duplicate. You know what? It is. And so I can actually select this other duplicate here. I can say next. And what I'm able to do then is to identify which of these two, and this is just like classic, uh, you, can, you can use whichever one is you want as a master. If you click here, it's going to say, great, I'll bring over all these. Although you're seeing this one has a dollar amount, that one's empty. I've got create dates, and so lots of things I should be able to think about here as to which one. But I'm going to use the older record because that's probably the one I want to keep. So I'm going to say next, and what that's going to do is it's going to say you're going to merge and you can't back up going to say fine I'm going to do that merge and what it's going to do is to say great you've successfully done that now there's no potential duplicates although when I go back out to my accounts and I do a refresh this I'm still getting other stuff out there so in the next video we want to talk about how to use a fuzzy merge and what that means as a fuzzy way to find duplicates um, thanks for watching